morning everybody. Today we will discuss about the electrochemical series or called as electropotential series. In the previous class, as we uh, you know, studied how to determine the electropotential, what are standard electropotential, uh, when we measure the electropotential at standard states, concentration, temperature and uh, pressure should be taken in standard state. And from that, how to determine the standard electropotential of any electrode by coupling with the uh, you know, a standard hydrogen electrode. Once you get the standard uh, electrode potential of various electrodes, you uh, have no problem now. You can couple any of the two electrodes to get the cell potential. The problem was to find who of the electrode is the cathode and who is the anode. So for that, we will have to study the electrochemical series from that is a number of applications are there uh, from which we can uh, calculate uh, uh, the cell potentials. So, what is electrochemical series? Who of uh, the given half cells will be anode and who of 
them will be kyato. Uh, how to get it? So it's a common interpretation to to be conceptually clear. Okay. You see, uh, the standard electrode potential of you know what zinc electrode is zero point seven six uh, volt and standard electrode potential of standard reduction electrode potential of both of them is now having these two values this is minus 0 0.34 volt 0 0.34 volt so you see how to compare them how to compare them you see sorry sorry this is uh, standard uh, you know uh, reduction electrode potential of copper it's as is uh, you know determined from uh, the coupling of standard hydrogen electrode so you see what happens what does this value indicate this is a negative sign this is reluctant reluctantness non-readiness that means zinc does not want to be reduced to Zn Zn 2 plus iron uh, is not ready to be Zn that means not ready to be reduced to an extent of 0 0.76 volt minus a sign this negative sign indicates the non-readiness whereas the positive sign whereas a positive sign indicates a readiness so the, uh, the extent to which copper electrode uh, wants to be reduced means Cu2 plus 2 Cu is to the extent of 0 0.34 you, you, you forget this volt so you, you take only this magnitude so the non-readiness of so you can also write if you want to compare the oxidation so make it uh, you know uh, this uh, into the oxidation uh, potential these are written in form of uh, uh, their reduction electrode potential you can convert both them into oxidation or reduction to compare so who wants to be reduced well so this was uh, this is the electrode which actually wants to be reduced to greater extent because the value is positive Jane doesn't want so from uh, from these values we can well uh, you know uh, compare who of them will be what uh, the uh, cathode or anode. You see, this copper, since having a positive value of electrode potential, wants to be reduced or very ready as compared to the zinc electrode to be reduced because of positive sign. So, uh, I have already mentioned uh, the, the electrode where reduction takes place is the cathode. So, the copper, since this positive value gives you readiness. So, this copper electrode is the cathode readiness to be reduced. Since this is the cathode, this would be the anode. And now, once you couple them, once you couple them, then the cell potential. So, the E0 cell of zinc copper cell is equal to what will be that so so now when you couple zinc and copper so e0 cell uh, of zinc copper cell is equal to hmm the reduction electrode potential of cathode in this case the copper electrode minus reduction electrode potential of what the anode in this case the zinc electrode so implies E0 cell is equal to reduction electrode potential plus 0.34 volt minus of minus
minus 0 0.76 volt that gives you uh, 1.10 volt. The positive quantity that means you are going to get 1.10 volt. This is the standard, uh, you know, standard cell potential of zinc copper cell found to be 1.10 volt. This is a uh, I now think you you are very uh, clear about uh, to determine the cathode and one anode, and once you determine who of them will be a uh, cathode and anode, now you can apply this formula to determine the cell potential. One another application of electrochemical. There are several other uh, that means applications. You can read them well and understand very well. And uh, I am showing you how uh, one another application is there of electrochemical switch. This is the first, you know, uh, what um, application. The second application is to determine whom. Who can displace whom? Okay, in a displacement reaction. So, second of, uh, application is uh, helps in displacement reaction. You know, negative to positive, towards downward, positive values are there. So, according to us, any value, okay, so you see, the standard, there is a tabular form, 0, 0.0 volt is for SHG, and towards negative value increases, negative value increases, this is positive value increases, okay, Negative value increases, positive value increases. And as the negative value increases, they are not ready to be reduced. Rather, they want to be oxidized. And as you know, a reducing agent are oxidized by themselves, but reduces us. So, as you go, as you get negative and negative electropotential, that means they are not ready to be reduced, but ready to be oxidized. And we know reducing agents reduces others and get themselves oxidized. So, since they are ready to be oxidized, they are reducing agents. So, as we go up, you know, it is another application you can uh, consider. So, greater affinity to act as reducing agents because they are getting uh, oxidized. So, similarly, greater affinity, greater affinity to act as oxidizing agent. Are you ready now? So, how, now you are clear. So, since this 0 0.0, 0, 0 .0 uh, electron volt, hmm, but, uh, so 0, 0 0.0 volt, hmm, now how to predict who of them cathode and who of them anode? You see very clear now, any value that is present at the top will act as an anode as compared to the value which is present below that value. Like zinc is at the top, copper at the bottom. Eh? So, uh, so zinc acts as anode, copper acts as cathode. So, similarly, who of the, them can displace whom, that is any value that is present at the top can displace another electrode, another uh, that is metal atom which is present below that hill. So you see, if we will uh, have a uh, you know, displacement reaction like this, zinc uh, 2 plus giving Zn2 plus plus Cu. Okay. So zinc is present at the top of the uh, electro potential value electrochemical series and uh, if we uh, arrange them negative to positive, then compared, as compared to the copper which is present at the below, so uh, now we say zinc can replace copper, that means zinc is taking the place of copper being Zn2 plus and copper is reduced to copper. 
So this reaction is PG2. That means zinc can, uh, that means therefore zinc can, zinc can, you know, displace copper. But the reaction copper, but the reaction copper uh, cannot displace the zinc 2 plus ion. 2P zinc and copper becomes 2 plus. This reaction is not feasible. This reaction is not feasible and uh, this reaction does not occur. Feasible and not feasible case can also be considered as another applications where you will have to calculate the cell potential value and you have the formula what? Um, uh, reduction electrode potential of cathode minus reduction electrode potential of anode. The reaction uh, in these two cases you can compare now that who of them uh, the anode and who of them the cathode. In the first case, in the first case zinc is oxidized so it acts as the anode. Oxidation electrode is the anode I have already mentioned and the copper acts as the what? Cathode. So, when uh, calculating the cell potential value, when you, uh, you know, subtract uh, uh, the cathode value from the anode value, you will get a positive uh, value as we have calculated the E0 cell value in case of zinc copper cell to be plus 1.10 value. That means, feasible means positive cell potential. But same case when you calculate for this reaction where you see copper is oxidized so copper acts as the anode in this reaction but zinc is reduced zinc is reduced so zinc acts as here zinc electrode acts as cathode so uh, if we take now the formula to be uh, zinc to be cathode and copper to be anode you will have to uh, you know subtract the value accordingly you have have to E0 cell is equal to yeah, E0 cell is equal to standard reduction potential of cathode means minus 0 0.76 volt minus standard reduction potential of anode minus 0 0.34 volt this is giving you a negative value so not feasible means this gives you a negative value that means copper cannot you know displace zinc whereas zinc can displace the copper because in this case the cell potential is giving you a positive value are you getting enough so there are a number of applications interesting application of electrochemical series that you can find from your book uh, now uh, uh, you can ask me any questions from uh, that electrochemical series and uh, we'll discuss. Thanks a lot. We'll discuss in the next class.